I know that some of you are having some difficulties with applying bald caps to the skin and getting the edges blended and getting the color just right. And that is why today I have made this video to show you how I apply bald caps and how I blend them on the skin. For this video I have used a Merons bald cap which I love because they are very thin, easy to blend on the skin. They are made of latex, easy to use and well yeah I love them. And for the makeup I have chosen Pro Air and Encore Alcohol Activated Makeup. Um, well, if you want to know how to create a look like this, please keep watching because I will explain step by step in the coming video. Applying a bald cap is usually not something you do on your own, uh, or at least not something... to do without any assistance. Well, as I want to show you today how to apply and blend away a bald cap, I'm going to try. So uh, forgive me for any uh, mistakes I make because I need to cut out the ears and stuff and don't yet know if I will be able to do this as it should be, but I'm going to try. Well, this is a latex bald cap by Meron. I know a lot of people like to work with uh, other kinds of bald caps but this is the one we have at our store and I use it all the time I really love it and it because it's so thin you can easily uh, hide it on skin so you won't see the edges and that is what I wanted to show you today so uh, usually I want to stay close to the hairline while applying a bald cap I have put my hair in a braid so it is as flat as I could possibly make it. I have a lot of hair, obviously, and uh, I'm not always the best at hiding it. So I'm hoping this will be enough to hide my hair. Well, to start um, applying a bald cap, I always make a line of glue on the skin. So I'm going to apply my Prozade on my hairline or just below my hairline and will then stick the bald cap on this. That way this piece is uh, glued on and I can then uh, worry about the rest without worrying about the front anymore. I apply the prosate with a Q-tip and just get a nice line of prosate on my forehead. And as always, we need to wait for this to become transparent before we can apply anything to it. So that is what we're going to do before we apply the bald cap. So I'm giving myself kind of a facelift. And then you get scissors, so doing this on yourself could be kind of difficult. Having scissors that actually cut is key. I need to get other scissors. So there are really big scissors so I'm gonna I'm not gonna think about filming it but I'm gonna think about cutting it because I don't want to cut in my head. So far so good. And there the bald cap is on. 
um, there are a few bits I need to glue on my face before I can continue because all these little loose bits are bits you can see when um, you apply makeup. There is a wrinkle over here and that's because I didn't cut away enough of the ears. So forgive me for that and that's the same on the other side. I will camouflage this with makeup of course but well yeah I just missed a bit. <clears throat> and that's because I needed to use the big scissors and um, I love you very much but I love my ears just a bit more. I get the prosate out again and just try to lift up all those little bits I have missed. It isn't difficult but it just takes up a bit of your time. As you might know, our skin isn't one skin tone. We do this with foundation or try to do this with foundation. And even then we give it different shades with blush or concealer or bronzing or any other color than just the pale one color skin tone. So if you want to color a bald cap and make it look convincing, it's important to use more than one color. So you could do it with grease paint or you could do it with alcohol activated makeup or you could even try to do it with a water-based face paint, although I don't really recommend the last one because it's the hardest way to color a bald cap. I am going to do this with Pro Air I am going to color my bald cap with Pro Air in combination with the skin tones from uh, the Encore palettes and I'm just going to splatter it with my toothbrush. This will take some time to get my bald cap colored but will give me the most convincing look I could get. Yes, and there it is blended away. I am going to apply some of my regular makeup to make me look less sick because of course a bald cap does this to you. Um, and I will keep the camera on while doing this. And there is how to apply a bald cap and blend it away as naturally as possible. Of course, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel in the link below. Uh, we will be back next week with new videos and of course, I hope to see you then. Bye bye!